today is the 23rd well it's the 24th now it's after 12 and this video is about the neighbors today they called the cops on me and I'm going to talk about all that is this video has four parts um, six minutes the argument itself is six minutes um, the first clip of me um, recording the officers is three minutes they kept stopping my recording so I didn't get to record all the way through and then the second clip of me talking to the officers is 10 minutes long and then this um, you know I talk about matters that compromise the Constitution and destroy the Bible so and you also probably know by now that I'm being conspired against it um, by the city of Akron I've been fighting and drawing awareness for three years as these people attack, as the government attacks my appearance, attacks my energy, ensure that I don't earn, and murder some of my relatives. So that's what's real, that's fact. And what took place today? They're um, attacking my throat right now, so you're going to see pauses in this. But what's taking place today um, was a distraction from all that. It was a distraction. It was a complete mockery of what's going on. And um, it's a blatant example of what a demon is. This is a good example of what a demon is. So, the ability to perceive, you know, things that were um, just being able to, that, that knowing, that feeling that something is about to take place. On top of that, these agents told me that there was going to be some shit today. And when they told me that they were going to be, it was going to be some shit, I kind of ignored it because I'm like, all I do is sit on my porch, you know, like what could possibly happen, you know, like, um, but they were attacking me really bad to get me from out there. So what you're not going to see is like, um, everything that led up to this, there's a trail of events that led up to this, you know, um, when I know something is about to happen, I try to catch as much of it as possible on video. So, um, <clears throat> but I have no way to compose videos right now, so I can't combine them and put it in a, um, you know, where you see everything play out and play through. But anyhow, um, some background information. I posted a couple of videos four or five on Facebook last night well it was during the a.m. hours I'm on night op so it was during the a.m. hours between 1 30 and 2 a.m. I posted some videos on Facebook and it was just pretty much an update of how my 22 days inside were going the attacks that I'm experiencing and um some other things that I'm picking up on and it also has a paper trail you know like um, some of the stuff I'm keeping record of you know part of me spending 22 days inside was was to prepare for the worst case scenario which was court I was preparing for the worst case scenario which was court the nuisance law like I, I plan on suing the city and you know the police department and the hospital as well but I was preparing first for the nuisance law because that's the only way I could afford to move. So, and um, in that case, I would be suing the landlord and the tenant. What they did was, they got rid of, and I didn't even know, I was sitting out here just now, I was gonna put it on camera and show you the detailed facts of like um, the occurrences, you know, things that have been taking place since about October, November of last year that I've been keeping record of, and they del they deleted it. The file, hold on, is no longer in my phone. It was titled Nuisance Labor, Nuisance um, Neighbor or Nuisance Law. None of that is in here. Like when I check. Um, documents none of this they removed it and I told you a lot of the times when they put them under a new suggestion when someone shows up under a new suggestion they get rid of anything that would keep them from carrying out the attack that they're supposed to carry out so that means they're going to show up and say that they saw something that they didn't saw 
I mean, they didn't see. That means they're going to show up and say something that conflicts with what they saw. So that means they're going to throw some extra shit in it. They'll show up and, you know, just allude to things to, to try and take away from the bigger picture at hand. So anyhow, they called the cops on me today. <coughs> and because I always keep record in more than one place, just real quick. You can see on the 13th. I was um, planning on holding on updating it. And I ended up updating it anyhow. Because um, something took place. So recently, I talked about destroying the link. Her boyfriend was the link. You know, um they were using him to falsify encounters you know if I'm saying that creative races are the problem and that I have a problem with creative races and then you put a white guy in front of me and you capture us smiling and laughing you know that's how you manipulate reality you know say no like she's cool with them you know that that claim is no longer valid it keeps It's disinformation. Created races are a problem. DNA theft is a problem. So anyhow, um, so these two identities, these two people that were just conveying a problem, um, they obviously had a problem with me. And you know, would show disgust when they see me or either try to purposefully ignore, you know, um, now it's only bragging like they didn't have a problem. It started on the 14th with her boyfriend and just yesterday, the 22nd with her. So this, um, the same person that they were using, you know, to um, make me as uncomfortable where I live as they possibly could, they were now using that same identity to act like when I'm wrong so <clears throat> so these are entities that have been knowing what's going on it wasn't until I destroyed the link that they suddenly you know um, started you saw this video has predecessors so you saw the other videos by now you know that he suddenly took my trash out for no reason and you know they were trying to reenact 2019's events and um but when he did that he also positioned a camera in the window for no reason so you were acting like you were trying to do something nice and um you know trying to act like you found me suspicious for no reason at the same time that went on for two days it went on for the 14th and the 15th the 15th i asked him not to talk to me no more i guess the 16th he took it out the window um it's back in the window tonight it's back in the window tonight to paint a picture that something's taking place place that's not taking place so it didn't like i told you before in the other video is the camera's positioned in a way where it captures any activity that takes place in front of my door um that information like i said they had for a year they had it for a year and they didn't look into anything for over a year and now conveniently once the link is destroyed you know you, you show up there's two things that took place the link was destroyed and you knew they got rid of um my information, you know, everything that I prepared to move against you. So now you showing up talking about some stuff that you're really not paying attention to. Out of 300 plus videos, you're talking about a video that's one minute and three seconds. And in that video that's one minute and three seconds, I'm going to tell you exactly what I talk about. Hold on. Okay. I wrote it down because I didn't want to leave any part of the one minute and three seconds out. So um, in the video, I was talking about going to CSS. I referred to the guy at CSS as an agent. One that's authorized to act as an agent. That's how the government act, um, operates, constituency. So anyhow, the caseworker and him not wanting to unleash his reins, I have proof of that. So it's not just me making, you know, um, an unjust claim. I don't put anything on anybody, and you know I have a, um, a, um, 
Oh, they're blocking the word. A um, what's the word? I'm known for telling the truth, pretty much. Like, I'm I'm the truth. Um. So anyhow, I was talking about how the threats that they were making were similar to those that they were making before they murdered my great grandmother. I said that if the government murdered anyone else that I knew, that I was going to kill the motherfuckers that they were using downstairs because they are using those identities downstairs. And the worst part about situations like this is there'll be hellions for motherfucking two months straight and then there'll be silence for a week. They're, they're trying to um, reshape the image, the impression that you have of them. They'll be hellions for two motherfucking months straight. And then, you know, try to act like nothing's going on. So, um, in that, on that form that I had, you know, that I was um, going to use in court, detailed time, not timed, but dated occurrences. So on this day, this took place. On this day, they did this. On this day, they did that. That was all information that I had to gather from my record and consolidate. So they set me back in a way. Now I have to go through all that old information again and create that document again, if that's the route that I'm going to take. I'm going to use magic as an example. When a magic trick is done, there has to be an agent in place to take um, credit for what's being done. To receive or to take. To make it happen. There, there, there's an identity being used for that. The same goes with a tax. The same goes with attacks. These are folks that will ignore literally everything. I'm talking about these motherfuckers will watch you die. They don't give a fuck about nothing. Like, they don't care what's happening. They don't care about what's happening. So, while I'm being attacked for hours... A great deal of it is her boyfriend's identity is being used um, to place claim on what's being done and falsify. You know, like they're still trying to find a way to manipulate using him as a link. So there's times. I have a bunch of videos, you know that by now, that have not even hit the internet. But there's times. Um, <laughs> it's bad. It's really and truly bad. And um, I don't even know. I think that might have been the SD card that they stole around the time that they, the city conspired against me in January. I think it was in the, um, in the, um, folder doc, in the folder titled neighborhood. But, like, they were literally using, as him. Like, if I moved out of a room, he moved to the room I was in. Like, I'm talking about back and forth nonstop. This is stuff that I've captured on camera so there's times where I'm stuck in bed for hours being attacked and he's positions himself right beneath me so while she's in her bedroom in the middle of the fucking night he's hanging out in the kitchen for hours at a time or either back and forth up and downstairs um, between the basement and the kitchen now I'm not going to go into parallel reality I talked about that and how it plays a big part in this sort of thing you know like um that that's another story with um, this big, their cons their interest in the yard. Parallel reality plays a great deal with their interest in the yard. So I want you to consider something. Consider all the elements that I talk about. You know about the government invading my nervous system, the government invading my lymphatic system, the government invading my circulatory system. You know all the my immune system the body's 11 systems in order to get certain things to manifest i still have scars on me from the motherfucking wing worm that the government gave me that happened in february 
It's May. So, it's stuff like that, you know, like, if I were, they're demons. They're demons. Like, I could never see you or know you to be one way and then see changes in your appearance. Suddenly, you know, now you have ripples on the back of your thighs with all the walking that you do. You walk for miles. You told me you walk for hundreds of miles. You have spots on your body, so you're like, what happened, you know? So, anyhow, because of this, you know, because of just the knowing that these are evil spirits and that these are identities that are being used, I've been trying, you know, I was creating space. Bitch, I need some space. So, I don't have no interest in, you know, people that don't give a fuck about what's being done to others. That's not on my motherfucking list of things to do. I don't have no interest in holding them type of motherfucking relationships. Um, so, anyhow, like I said, with all the elements, like, just consider all the things that are going on that... I have a skill set and they won't allow me to get employment. And then there's manipulation with employment. You know, and even if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't want to pay, just stay out the way. But, oh, there was something I was trying to say. They're jamming my thoughts. And I, I think you saw that too. And I talked about this in another video. Um, Matter of fact, the first argument her and I had, um, how they were jamming my thoughts, they were trying to keep me from responding to her. If you pay attention to the video, the six minute video of the argument, all I can say was nuisance law. I couldn't even tell her that I was taking her to court too. That's remote neural monitoring. That's watching a thought as it forms and keeping you from saying it, blocking it completely. One last thing she was talking about you say the government's watching you you say that she tried to make it seem like it's you know like um she tried to make it she tried to turn it it is so disrespectful she tried to turn it into something that it was it was like a mockery in a way and she wanted to say that i was watching them i'm never checking for no fucking body like the only time I pay attention is when these motherfuckers make a fool out of themselves. So if you showing your ass outside or if you get into an argument, don't get mad when people watch. Don't get mad when people listen. You put yourself on display. You can't get mad about that. You want people to be absent minded as you. You want motherfuckers to ignore what's going on around them like you. That's a fucking demon. 